Hey guys. Shh. Got a haul. So I just got these um these fragrances in um today. So this is gonna be an unboxing. I've got Laura Biagiotti, and I've never smelled this before. Uh, Roma Uomo for men. Uh, as a toilet, natural spray, 75 milliliters. So yeah, we're gonna start off with this one. Um, yeah, it's really interesting because I've never smelled these before. Um, and yeah, like I, I read the notes online. I can't remember exactly what this one was, but we're gonna find out. This is like off the cuff, sort of, you know, my instant reaction. I can't even remember what the notes are really. Um, yeah, the presentation is pretty cool. I think this is a, a really old fragrance, like from the 90s. Um, Laura... Laura uh, Biagio, Biagiotti. I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce it, but it's, it sounds Italian. Um, this lid is quite tight. Alright, let's see. Let's see how this one does. So this is really cheap. It's kind of like 30 pounds. Um, oh, wow. Ooh. This is very unisex fragrance. It's got like a fruitiness and It's got a fruitiness and a sweetness that I can kind of detect from this. Oh, it's pretty good. Yeah, definitely unisex, like I think. You could probably pull this off um, unisex, and I think for colder months, this would be really good. Um, Yeah, or well, like maybe even spring, maybe even summer. I don't know. I think all year round, this would be pretty good. It's quite a kind of formal sort of feel to it, but I would, you know, I'm not a very formal person. I don't really wear suits that much, so I'd be happy just wearing this like to bed even. Like I might wear this right now. It's just like a clean sort of. Kind of floral, I'm not sure um, exactly what the notes are, but um, I get kind of like a clean sort of floral scent from it. Yeah, it's really good. Um, it's, it's so, what you're going to get with this fragrance is something completely different to what's like the mass market sort of fragrances right now. If you want something different, um, timeless kind of, but also a classic, I really recommend kind of going for this one. Now, second one I've got from the house of uh, Salvatore Ferragamo, F by Ferragamo Por On. So I got two of these. I've got this, and the next one's also called Free Time, which is the flagger of this. But um, yeah, like nice box, pretty big, pretty hefty looking, 100 mil. This is also like a cheapie, so I love my cheapies. It's like you know. With the economy as it is, like you don't really want to buy like niche fragrances, you don't want to spend too much. You can get some really good quality, and I think like for the Ferragamo, I've heard have pretty good quality in their fragrances. Like you know, you can get something for like under fifty quid, uh, usually like thirty quid or something, and ooh, caps kind of cut off. Um, wow. Okay. What the bottle looks like. It's a pretty cool bottle. Pretty nice shape. It's got like a cool curve at the bottom. Okay, let's check this one out. So this is like the original of this kind of line. Um, like a leathery sort of kind of smell from this. 
Reminds me of something. Kind of smells a bit like Aqua Di Gio. Um, I get like a clean sort of leathery sort of scent. Like, again, something a bit formal. Um, but you could definitely pull this off in like spring and summer and maybe even autumn. You probably rock it in winter too, to be honest. I mean, I feel like this, you know, a lot of fragrances, people kind of define them, uh, you know, being good in different periods. But like, to be honest, this one, um, I'd say you can wear whenever. But yeah, I do really like it. Like, um, I need to figure out what notes um, it has, but it's kind of like fresh, sort of, I wouldn't say spicy. It's got, I guess, a little bit of spiciness in it, but um, this is like a really nice work kind of scent. So I would say, yeah, if you're going to the office, nobody would kind of be offended if you're wearing this. And um, I'd say it's more of a day scent uh, than a night scent and um, just kind of everyday sort of casual sort of scent that doesn't kind of get in the way. Um, the le leather is kind of a bit, um, Reminds me of my dad's car, like Volvo, um, when I was young, and um, you just go in and smell like the leather and the plastic kind of melting and stuff um, in the in the sun. But um, I do like it. It's you know I think I prefer this one so far um, with its smell the dried on that one. Mm, it's, it's a bit more fruity that one I think. Um, so let's get on to. The third one, which is F by Ferragamo Food Time, again from Salvatore Ferragamo. Alright, same style bottle, although this one's got like a nice blue sort of tinge to it. Um, yeah, I really like this one, the design, compared to the other one, it's a bit more interesting. Um, actually, hang on, the other one. It smells a bit like Aqua di Palma, uh, Colonia, uh, Colonia, a little bit, I don't know. It's got that kind of barbershop-y, I guess, smell. Um, yeah, I'm kind of realizing, like, you know, Things are come, kind of coming to my mind, but basically this is kind of got that bar, bar shoppy sort of um, lemony as well, maybe. Um, yeah, not, not too sure on the notes again. I'm gonna have to look those up, but uh, yeah, let's try free time. Very different again. <laughs> These are all very different to what I've been wearing recently, like the kind of mass appealing, mass, the sweet sort of fragrance. This this has some sweetness in it, um, the free time, but um, it's not kind of like the super sweet kind of gourmandy sort of style of fragrances, gourmand style. Um, it's sweet, it's um, kind of got that sort of ozonic sort of scent to it. Kind of like a saltiness. It reminds me of like the sea. Like if I was going to like Brighton or the beach somewhere, but it's also like kind of got like a bit of a cool vibe to it. So it kind of like keeps me cool. Like it's something, yeah, if I was going to the beach and it was like, uh, I'm going to be sweaty, I wouldn't wear this. Straight out, out of the shower, you know, spray spray a few on your neck and one on the back and um, and you're good to go. But yeah, I really like this. Um, it's quite lemony. I get a lot of, I like that kick of lemon in the beginning, kick of lemon even. Yeah, it's definitely like um, quite a classic smell. 
And this is just my initial impression. Maybe I'll do like a proper review for all of these, but um, you know, I'm not huge on the notes. Like I have just actually designed a fragrance, uh, which was called Coconut Beach Blast. Maybe I'll like show you guys that soon. But um, yeah, I do love my fragrances. Uh, it's one of the other things I love apart from shoes. And yeah, like I, I do really like this. Um, not great with the notes, but you know, we can look those up. Uh, you can look those up as well. Yeah, so this one's definitely got like a creaminess to it. And I don't know if I like that now. And the dry down has definitely got a creaminess to this one. But yeah, out of all of them, hmm. This one's pretty nice. I mean, but it's kind of old school. I would say this, this reminds me of the 90s, like where I got, like something my dad would wear. Um, but it's good. I think it's really good quality for the price. And then maybe second would be this one, but I'm not sure about the dry down. I'm gonna have to like wear it on skin. And also, yeah, let me try this on skin. I might wear this tonight. Um, This is like, it's quite strong this. Ooh. It's pretty strong, it's pretty strong. You're only gonna need like a couple of sprays of this. This might also get cloying um, if you spray too much. pretty nice in the air. Like up close like it gets really cloying but um, I think you know far away it would be like if, if somebody's walking past you and you get a whiff of this it's like pretty nice. It's like a kind of vanilla cake sort of marzipan sort of smell. A sweet sort of smell. Um, almost edible. Like a yeah like a sweet um, but I do really, I love the bottle. The bottle's like so cool. It's like got these like Hawaiians, which reminds me of like um, some kind of building, like Colosseum or something. Um, it's a beautiful bottle. But yeah, I'm gonna have to wear these like for a couple of days. And maybe I'll share my review on like how I think it is and how it develops over time. But yeah, it's my initial review for my haul. Uh, yeah, tune in, tune in next time, guys. <laughs>